Yeah, with Sinestro, did you start with the actor, the comic? Or? We started with the comic, and, and uh, I believe it was before we even got the actor. At that point, when you're doing something that's already been established in a comic book, graphic novel, whatever, you have to remain somewhat true to that. Because Star Trek, it's like you can't veer too much off of, you know, what people expect Spock, Romulans, Vulcans to look like. Right. I was a huge Dark Shadows fan growing up as a kid, so when I, you know, I heard the movie was being made, I got really excited. And, you know, did you go back to the old stuff and think, are we going to use some of this at all, or was it just like clean slate? Let's... You know what? It was clean slate. Johnny and Tim had had extensive conversations about what they wanted, and, and the biggest thing I think in the Barnabas makeup was they wanted these fingers to be extended. He wanted like long, sort of. He was very tactile. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll peel the skin back off of these because these were actually used. So it's a vacuum tip that fits Johnny's finger, right? And that gets glued on. So now you've got an extension of his bone. The nail gets glued on to the top of that, and then the silicone skin slips over. I love that there's just a bag of fingers. The paintwork itself, I mean, it's, I, I treated it like an oil painting. You know, so it was very smooth and very elegant. And they were desaturating the film, so I'd have to base my makeup on what the final version of the film would look like. It reads as kind of white in the film, but it's not. It's anything but that. It's several layers of light makeup, no white at all, um, yellows and blues. Uh, and then there's five different versions of makeup around his eyes, you know, going wow. from black to purple to blue. What's it like if you're working with an actor who they're they're just not happy with it at all, but this is, it's the character, it's what's written in the script and the, you know. Yeah, and that's <laughs> tough, that's <laughs> always tough because, you know, typically what'll happen is, you know, say, you know, Scott, you're gonna be the fish man, and if you were not into this at all, he'd be like, I'm right. covered up with appliances, what are you talking about? I want everybody to see me. Right. And nobody has had this conversation with you before I show up with like this, right? Yeah. And. At that point, it becomes very awkward because it's like, well, you know, we got to, you know, I got to do this. And instantly, you know, you're pulling back. Whereas, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm a huge fan of makeup. I like to go further. You know, mm -hmm. I like to push the envelope. But, Johnny Depp I mean, seems like someone who's into this process. One thing I really appreciate about him, it's, it's, you know, if it's uncomfortable, you know, the old Tonto was full body gluing which was like eight hours of application time, mm. then a day of shooting, right. then like another couple hours of removal. That's a long day. Do you find it to be the exception? You know, Johnny Depp being obviously a major star that he's so into the process? Um, yeah, as, as into it as he is, is an exception. Um, I've worked with other, you know, other performers that, you know, do appreciate makeup, but I don't think anybody to the extent that he does. I love it, I've spent, you know, eight years of my life on pirate ships and pirate movies yeah. and stuff. With with Johnny, it's like we'll come up with the design together and pretty much everything we've sort of set out to achieve, we've been able to achieve. As long as it serves the purpose of the character. Right. You know, there's nothing he'll shy away from if it serves the, you know, the greater purpose. Like Judge Dredd not taking his helmet off. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> How to get that in. Where's Judge Death? Yeah, Judge Death, right. Dread sequel. You as the artist, how would you respond to, you know, people who would criticize Johnny Depp? You know, people who would say, oh, he buries himself in makeup. What's with the bird on the head? <laughs> I actually did say that the first time I saw a picture. I was like, he's wearing a bird on his head. Yeah. Makes sense in the movie. Say that. I didn't say it in a negative way, like yeah. he's wearing a bird on his head. I just said like he's everybody wearing else did. <laughs> a bird on his head. Did, did people give Lon Chaney shit back in, you know? You know, 70 years ago. Maybe they did. Yeah, yeah maybe. In the, With uh, social media. On the pre-internet. If you shy away from giving the audience what, you know, ultimately your interpretation of a character is just because you're afraid they're going to say, well, why were you wearing ears? Why mm. were you wearing, you know, a nose? Why were you wearing... It's like, let's appreciate the character for what it is. And the character isn't necessarily going to be all it can be without the addition of some kind of makeup, whether it's subtle or something extreme like what we're gonna do on you. Right. So screw them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>